when we cry. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I want to jump on to a quick uh, little topic here, talk and chat on the download information that had come in for this morning. Um, now, with the topic, when we cry, so there's a lot that kind of goes into it and try to sum it up into this video um, and try and do that. But generally, you know, if you're anything from my generation, it was more like if you cry, you're just going to get some more of that. <laughs> so we weren't allowed to cry and express our feelings. Uh, in, my gen in my time of growing up, at least that was what it was. Now, whether that was because that was the generation, you know, the parents, the parenting of the parents, or just because my family came from, like, over UK, England, and how they did things and that's just how it's been carried down and passed down through my family but you know when you very strict um you know you couldn't interrupt you couldn't speak when not talk to you couldn't be um you know gathering around the family you had to go be by yourself go outside and play you know kids should be seen not heard you know and when you cried to express yourself you know, it was either hidden, shunned, or, you know, if you keep doing that, you're just going to get more of that. So you got a beating. <laughs> so basically, that's what it kind of was, you know, in my growing up. Um, now, with that, that's very unhealthy, for one, right? And we sh and I don't want to shame parents for doing that to their children. It's just what they knew in their parenting tactics. But we shouldn't be doing that because <laughs> we need to express the feelings and emotions that we have and it's okay to do that because it's releasing the feelings and emotions that we have uh, through our tears when we're suffering when we're feeling that we're bad or no good or you know things that's coming up the emotions that are flowing through us right so an emotional tactic to help heal it's a self-healing process that we go through all the time and a lot of times we don't heal those situations they are repressed and they can continue on down the lineage not only that but it creates this harmony in the body the system the energy the flow like your chakras you're creating you know things like physical ailments right so there's a lot that kind of goes into it and i can't go down that whole topic and stream of course but in a general it that's the top you know basics of it so in the context of that, you know, if you're not feeling that like, you can express your feelings, you want to start learning how to do that, right? You want to do that, even if you have to do it in private, go see, you know, um, a counselor. I would go to a psychologist. I would go to a counselor who is awakened um, and spiritually inclined to understand and be able to connect with you versus somebody who's just going to give you medications because that doesn't help. So with my background, in counseling when I counseled people with addictions there was a lot of flu of people from all backgrounds you know whether they were doing alcohol or drugs or prostitution or whatever it was you know they had a lot going on you know and a lot of repressed emotions and feelings and now um, it can be just simply something that maybe somebody's argue with you it doesn't have to be something complex but anytime you're having emotions it's okay to feel those and go into those because within that there's a lot which is a little bit more complex. And so I'll share that with you, which is part of the reason why, you know, I am giving you this information. So with that, you know, in the complexity of it, it's manufactured through the system, allowing it to, you know, bring up what's repressed or what's going on in the system, what's not allowing, not, what's not accepted in alignment with source because you are source in the higher consciousness realm, but also in the lower realm. And like you're all in between. You have anything and all things going on from all different levels of awareness, right? And so you are part of source, which is a divine that's totally love, right? Pure love. Then you have the context of the human aversion form, which is the lack of that on different levels based on your perception on that topic 
if you will. And so from that perspective, you're allowing that to come in and pervade your energy and your system, allowing that to make a set point from that point of view, right? So it depends on what point of view you're looking at certain topics or situations. And then that's what's going to be manifested into your realm, right? And so what you're looking at is seeing it from your perspective, the human version or source perspective. So you have both options to choose from. When we're looking at it from source's perspective, which is pure love, then you know, you're know you in alignment with source, right? When you're on the opposite perspective, the lack of opposite, the um, absence of that, then we're in suffering. So we can deter where we are on that line of that subject and topic based on what we're feeling, what we're thinking, what we're thinking we know from that point of view. And so from that point of view is the topic of experiencing the emotions. So from the emotions, what are we doing? So it's an indicator that we are separate from source whenever we're in suffering, right? That's just simply explained. So if we are feeling negativity, if we're feeling opposite of love, if we're feeling emotions that don't coincide with love and bliss and happiness and joy and abundance, that is separateness from source. That's our alignment. Where are we on that stream of consciousness, which Abraham talked about with the emotional chart system. And so whatever you're thinking, whatever, wherever situation you're in, whenever you are becoming the observer of the situation that is separating you from the context of source's perspective, you start feeling things, the emotions come, it arises, and then the creation happens, right? It's the experiencing of the creation that's being put into place in your vision, your view, based on where you are and how you're seeing that from that perspective on that topic. And that can be any topic that you are encountering, right? Whether it is, you know, friends, family, career, whatever it is, because in Source's eyes, everything is love, everything is perfect, everything is divine, because it cannot be nothing else other than what it is. It's just pure love in harmony with all things, right? And so it sees all things from different perspectives. And the human does, the version of things that is wrong, the concepts that we believe in, that we have to fix everything, that we have to contemplate everything, that we have to categorize everything, that we have to you know, break it down and rebuild it back. <laughs> but that is part of the process of evolution that's in the creation of it, right? We manifesting all the time on the line, which is looping. And from that perspective, we experience the separation of source. Okay, source has seen it from this perspective and I'm seeing it from this perspective, which is the line of consciousness that you have, which is the expand of its own awareness, right? So you're bringing that expansion to itself to see of it from that perspective from which you can either take either or into the collective, right? And so you have not just both streams on the opposite ends, but you have everything in the middle as well. So to one person, it may be devastating. To another person, it's like, mm, you know, it's okay. But then to source, it's love, right? So there's all different kinds of streams of conscious awareness is going on at the same time, multiple dimensions, realities, experiences happening right, from that perspective, depending on where you are, and it's the one that you're picking up to take in view of it, to participate in on that level of awareness, if that makes sense. So from that perspective, when we are taking a look at the separation point where we are in the experience, what are we looking at? What are we saying or thinking or feeling or healing, hearing within our human self related to what source is, you know, opposites the perspective, right? So from that point that we're at, when we have the feelings and emotions and thoughts come up and arising, maybe, you know, we're not good enough or they're not good enough or they're bad or they're, you know, they shouldn't be doing that judgment. All these things that come up and arise, either for us or for them, is a manifestation of creation, which comes from the topic of learning who we truly are and the expansion of our true selves, which is awareness of everything that's going on in the moment. Now, with the awareness of self, we come into the expansion of self where we are in the awareness that when we are in a situation, if you are present in the moment, you can start understanding and seeing and feeling, realizing that the expansion of awareness is happening because you're becoming present in the moment of your suffering. 
and you can see the expansion of it and the awareness that is taking place from both sides. And so from the awareness of the source, it's like, okay, you may hear, if you have your intuitive abilities open, you may hear, you know, the positive, and then you may hear the negative, right? And so the expansion of awareness is just the rising of the, the awareness, the knowledge, the understanding based on that perspective, right? And we get to choose from the timeline of what we want to do with it, right? And then from that expansion, awareness, you're able to manifest through that. So the expansion of awareness is its thoughts, its beliefs, its systems that's arising, the creation of it, expansion of awareness that's being present in that moment. Now, from that point of view, we can see it on different levels, different viewpoints, perspectives. So it's allowing you to have the experience, which is in creation. So from the creation, we have the experience, which we play out in the world, the roles that we have. And the universe brings that to us, right? To expand upon that, what we're seeing from the point of view of separateness, right? So, of course, when sources like pure love, seeing everything as divine and perfect, and we're not, because we're in the human form, the concept, we are perceiving it from different space and reality, right, and time. And so taking up that, we're going to see certain things that are not in alignment with love, right, source. So from that point of view, we may experience emotions, tears, that will validate where we are on that timeline. That's what that is. Our emotions are validating where we are in our separateness, right? And so to think that they are bad, it's, it's not. They're a validation. They're telling us that we are moving away from divine love and our separateness, right, from where it truly is. And so we can look at it as shameful and, you know, you shouldn't do that and, you know, you're weak and blah, blah, blah. But that is untrue. It's just because you don't know how it actually works, system, how it works and what it's for. It's part of cleansing. It's also part of an indicator that you're moving away from divine source, truth, which is love. I just made a red spot on my face. <laughs> um, and that is an indicator. That is your guide. That's your guiding system, your emotions. And because a lot of people don't understand the emotions and how the body system operates, the way it was created, you know, we kind of take it from different perspectives, right? And then again, we're separate even more because we don't even understand our emotions from that point of view. And so when we can learn about who we truly are, which is a perception of what is really going on happening here, then we can understand the whole thing more in alignment with source, right? And that's why we have the expansion of awareness. So from that point of view, you know, wanting to share with you when, you know, I've always kind of had the wondering and curiosity of why when I cry why does it feel so good and so you may have had that experience too like when you cry why does it feel good and so I questioned that you know and whenever you question something you will get an answer it may not be right away but it'll be at some point in time in your life so you can look back and be like oh I get it it's part of the teachings it's part of the process in evolution that we understand certain things from a different perspective and so we won't be able to understand or know until we've been through it, right? In order to for source to bring you the answer, right? Because if you're asking something of source or your guides a question that you want an answer to, and you've not had the experience or understanding or won't be able to from where you are, then you're not going to be able to receive it in the way it's meant. And so you, you will be taken through your life journey in that experience so you can then have the understanding of it so when the answer does come, you can be like, oh, okay, I get it. I understand it. So through my journey, I've always wondered why, um, you know, you, you do feel good, even though the people in my family were telling me, you know, that's bad and you shouldn't cry and blah, 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 blah. I always understand, you know, being in my own room, in my own suffering, <laughs> you know, it was like, okay, so, but why is it bad if it feels good? And so in the experience of, that suffering, I could feel both. And you may too, you may be able to feel that it feels good because it's washing over you. It's a, it's cleansing, right? So our tears are, and our emotional, not only is it indicator of where we are, but it's cleansing what we are going through on an emotional level, the experience of it, which also ties into how our body will, um, 
you know, cleanse, right? It goes through our system, even though, you know, how we put water in, the water comes out when we go to the bathroom. Our, our emotions are the same, right? It works the same way. So our emotions go through the system of the body. So that means our kidney that's processing, it's going through, you know, all of our organs all over our system when we're processing our emotions. And when I was doing Reiki healing sessions, you know, whenever, that's how I learned that. And that's how they taught me that, you know, to understand that our emotions, they can get stuck and infiltrate into the system, which creates blockages, things like that. And then, of course, this disharmony, and then it relays into, uh, like, illnesses, things like that, the body shutting down, right? And so we don't have that concept, and that's why a lot of times our lives are limited, you know? And so it's based on the whole process of the evolution of the system, the dynamics of it, and the awareness of it. And so when we're not processing, we're creating disharmony in the body, which can come up as uh, disharmony and illness, right? And... With that, you know, a lot of things will surface, right? When they become stuck, you know, we may become depressed or um, end up having coping skills that will lead to further disharmony, um, drugs, you know, emotional eating, uh, things like that. So when I was doing counseling, not only was it, you know, addictions, but it was like, well, eating disorders too. It's part of addiction, but it's not drug and alcohol. It's eating, you know, and then there's sugar and diabetes and all this other stuff that creates and it's disillusion of the experience. And so it creates this harmony in the system, the whole thing, the processing. So, but when the tears are coming, you know, it's washing over you, it's a fluid. And I haven't really done any research on it. I'm just going by what I've been taught and shown in the experience through source my channelings you know working with energy feeling vibrationally of what's going on my own personal experience with it and what i've been getting so i mean you can always see if there's any research out there on tears uh, whatever it is but not all tears are equal <laughs> i know that's funny to say but we think it is it's the dilution of it that is creating the solvent within the tears, which creates the crystallization, which is the salts, right? Have you tasted your tears? Some of it is very salty. Sometimes it's not. It's different levels and different awarenesses that are coming up with your emotions, your tears, the validation, the awareness of it, the experience, and the holding it down keeps it from coming up. So you want to allow all that to come up because it's washing over you. The water within that tear is the cleansing part, and you can relate that to source, right? So the salt within it is more either condensed more or less, depending on what the situation is, whatever we're emotionally crying about or releasing, intense or not intense, and so that will be more constituted than realizing of, of itself, which is also adding to the experience of creating more of that, which is the looping, the re-experiencing of those certain situations. So if you've had a stressful situation, you know, if you've understood the whole process of looping where we've been separate from source, we've created this scenario, this belief system about something, and so it's a, it becomes looped, right? And so you keep having that until you change your perspective around that situation, which is a recreation of its experience. So if you're suffering about something in your separation, you're recreating it through that, which is the feelings and emotions that are erupting in you, right? And so it's contributing to the factor of the understanding of that situation that you keep creating outside of yourself, because the outside is the mirror to itself that's seeing you, that's producing and creating the re-experiencing of that situation that is now being experienced by you outside of yourself instead of just within yourself. Because when we are creating within ourselves, at some point it becomes manifested outside of ourselves. And that draws it out. It draws us up whenever we're being triggered about that topic, that certain situation. And then we can either choose to see it or live from that same perspective that we lived from at the last time that it came up. Or we can change our perspective and be like, you know, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. I don't need that anymore. I don't, I don't, it doesn't affect me anymore, you know. But of course, that's when we have what we say growed up, 
uh, moved on, evolved from that point of view, and it no longer matters to you, right? It's projected only when we are still feeling it. It's the resonance of that feeling emotion that's being created, which is the crystallization in our tears. It's helping to manifest the physical aspects. So you have the crystallization inside the tears, which is the salt, uh, the manifestation, the salt of the earth, if you will, the creation of that outside of yourself. It's manifesting on different levels till it gets to the outside manifestation of that suffering, right? And so it'll bring that to you in your manifestation. Now the washing away is the source. So you have the combination of the suffering and then within your tears is the source, the washing away, the waters, right? If that makes sense. So in your suffering, and this was really an amazing experience that I had, uh, within your tears, source is with you, okay? Source is the part of the crying, the emotional release, everything that feels good, right? The other aspect that you're not, that's the issue, is the crystalline, the salt, right? So you have both within the, the experience of the tears, if that makes sense. And so if you're able to, when you're in that space, just sit with your emotions, go into that space, you'll be able to see it. And so you're not alone, you know, in your suffering, right? Sources within your tears, because sources within all things. So from that manifestation, you're able to choose, right? This is cool, because this was really interesting when, when it dropped in. Within that space of suffering, because you have source with in, in the emotions, the tears, everything that's coming through, you have the option and the ability to choose the feeling good or the not, because the not is the crystalline that's going to keep re-perpetuating in a different timeline onto something else that's recreating itself to show up for you, to trigger you to go back to that, to reheal that. And that's why we have triggers, is to go back and not to forget that we haven't dealt with that yet. Right? And so that's the manifesting of that timeline, which brings us back to that point, that set point. It's the manufacturing of that in its own realization to remember and to deal with it later. Right? And so we can come back to that. And it depends on where we are in our evolutions if we've moved past that, right? <laughs> or we want to continue that. Um, so it's all about us and dialect of understanding who we truly are. Now, on the timeline of choosing within your tears in that space of awareness and that consciousness, if we're taking and choosing, you know, I choose feeling good and it'll start to feel good and it'll just wash over you, right? And you won't be in the suffering, but if we choose crystalline tears, then we will continue the suffering, if that makes sense. So if you're in the space of having the emotions come up to the point where they are just releasing, cleansing the tears let them flow and then choose the feeling good aspect not the crystalline salt aspect of the crying and we don't look at it like that because we're in this emotional outburst right and so from that perspective this is inner work this is inner healing this is doing the work right and this is understanding it from this perspective not what we've been taught and passed down that you know feelings and emotions are bad or not you know whatever the case may be, like what I grew up with. So in that point, choose the love that's within the feeling good because that is your way out. If we choose the opposite, the feeling good, the thoughts, which is the other side of it, right? Because you always have both aspects, right? If you're choosing to continue the negative thoughts, whatever's keeping you to rise that. If you keep continuing that, you're going to keep continuing creating situation. It's going to, the crystallization is becoming form, right? It's manifesting in form at that point, right? And so when we are, we're cre even creating through our tears, it's all a system, right? It's manufacturing itself from that point of view. But if we are cre choosing the tears, the clear, the waters, right? The, the purity, the feeling good, aspect of releasing, cleansing, and feeling the cleansing, right? Instead of the thoughts and the beliefs in there that's within the tear, the emotions that are erupting, then we're actually cleansing our body. We're actually cleansing the system. We're cleansing the thoughts. And so gravitate more towards the feeling good of it versus the bad of it, right? 
a lot of people are like, well, if I do that, I'm, I feel I feel like I'm creating and adding to you know this. No, you're actually helping to create, you know, the cleansing of the system and who you truly are. You're because you're gravitating more to the positive aspect than the negative aspect. And even though it's not really positive and negative, it's the absence of uh, what is love, right? It's the absence of it, which is the creation of of what we call the negative. Um, from that point is what you're going to create. So even in your suffering and your tears, source is with you. Source is helping you to create a way out. It's it's not encapsulated in anything. And so that is a realization in of itself being that you, you are creating yourself even in that moment, in that point of experience. So allowing yourself to be in that understanding when you are having emotions and rising to allow yourself to clear Okay. Allow yourself to be cleared of that lack and opposite, the absence of source, divine love, and choose the feeling good within that space, right? Not the opposite of it, which is the lack of feeling good, right? And so we get to choose. Even in that moment, we get to choose. Everything is choice, and it's what we are doing and manifesting in the creation of it. And again, a lot of us aren't going to be able to see it because maybe we haven't opened our intuitive abilities to it and have that understanding and connection of actually what is really going on within us and how everything is created and operated. But that's the system in a whole, just generalized. And um, in our feelings, our emotions, what's coming up, what's being triggered and why it's being triggered, because maybe we hugged on to that negativity the last time when we were in going through that cleansing cycle to passages, letting that go, moving on, you know, from that space, we hung on to those negative thoughts, those negative beliefs, those negative feelings, instead of arising with it, when the flow of our emotions, to the feeling good point, and then taking a hold of the good feeling good, right, and going in that direction. So that's manifestation through our emotions, our tears, our feelings, our thoughts, our belief systems, as on a whole. Um, in generalization, um, but again, there's so much more to it to go into depth is kind of going to be a very long video. Um, and so I do put that, you know, these things in books, so we'll have that information there for you. And I do talk about it more in our classes and understanding of that. So definitely reach out if you have any questions or drop some things below. If you've experienced, you know, the, the feeling good within the suffering of our emotions or tears, and if you've acknowledged that that actually is there, right? Because a lot of us are aware of it. We just don't know what to do. We're just so caught up in the whims of our emotions. And we don't have the understanding that we don't have that complexity to gravitate more to the feeling good because sometimes it just feels good to feel not good, <laughs> right? And so that's what it is. That's what that not, that's what the feeling good is about not feeling good it's okay to feel not okay and to have those experiences of your emotions and you know but we want to gravitate towards you know the feeling good and just feel the feeling of goodness right within that suffering that you're going through that's the negativity and it's the washing away that's going to happen on its own on its own in its own dialect of what it's been created it's just going to wash that away right so it's the feeling of healing that's taking place, right, on its own. It's its own cleansing system, if you will, that happens. But when we get in the way and we grab the tape to, you know, the negativity, we're holding on to that because they did this or I did this and I'm sorry, I don't forgive. And we get in all caught up into the whole negativity, the thoughts that keeps going on, recirculating, recycling, that, you know, keeps repetitive thoughts, you know, I'm no good, I'm no good, I'm no good. We get caught up in that because we don't understand it, and then we just keep perpetuating it. But um, take that understanding that is being given, you know, from this download and this information that's come up through this morning uh, in the last couple of days, um, and you know, work with it. And whenever you're in that space, you know, and it's not saying don't feel your feelings. You want to be in there so you can see and experience and understand it from that perspective, like. So it's okay to feel your emotions and be and go through that. We just don't want to hang on to it like forever. It's not who we are. It's the experience of it that's cleansing you and your system on a dynamic level of awareness, right? And you don't even have to do anything. It's a self-healing cleansing system that's been put in place for you, right? And so you don't really have to do much. 
this know which one to choose. <laughs> so hopefully that's helpful. And I did a little bit of a channeling and I'll post that as a post um, in the community area. So you can always check out that writing um, from today. So all right, post below if you have any questions or anything like that. Let me know if you've experienced the, the you know, the feeling good within the not feeling good experience of the emotions and awareness and then who you truly are in alignment with source. Thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.